Hi and good day. My name is Susanna and I'm a PhD student at the University of Technology in Sweden and today I'll be talking about the topic Energy Democracy in Practice, a participatory approach to the community governance of renewables. I will be talking about five key components of our paper that we've put forth for this conference, which starts with a review of contemporary energy planning rhetoric and the research gaps that have emerged from this. We'll be putting forth democratic design experiments as our theoretical framework. We'll put forth our pilot study and the findings from it, and also put forth our future work in the area. Energy planning takes a majorly top-down approach and has a distinct lack of energy democracy operationalization at the community and grassroots level. Concerning the global energy transition, we move away from the technological focus to more socio-cultural implications of the transition. Key studies of 12 municipalities in Italy and 11 in Denmark portray a need for, one, an increased sovereignty and flexibility for local governments to try new initiatives and to experiment, two, strategic feedback loop system, which means that on-the-ground empirical data is fed back into overarching institutional frameworks that draft national energy policy, and three, to develop an effective democratic communication platform that is truly inclusive. In response to these three key called for measures, we put forth democratic design experiments as a way to tackle these three measures. Democratic design experiment is a design intervention that focuses upon situated experiential knowledges, material interaction and reflexivity, creativity and inclusivity. It is often staged as a socio-material platform and these experiments revolve around collaboration between the designer, locals and the wider stakeholders to bring about meaningful co-produced solutions to societal problems. The workshop that we conducted is dual in its aim. Explicitly, it is to understand the possible design and aesthetics of solar photovoltaic panel installations within the neighborhood shaped by local perceptions of the pre-existing urban public spaces and implicitly to uncover possibilities for creative collaboration to operationalize principles of energy democracy at a community level. It was conducted in the fall of 2019 in a neighborhood called Milkkoden in the north of in the city of Luleå in northern Sweden. There was active public outreach to 400 households. However, only four attendees had arrived to the event, which were three males, one female between the ages of 48 to 63. Their careers ranged from a union leader, a local vegetable farmer and two engineers. The pilot workshop had three stages. Stage one being participatory mapping and the understanding of the lived experiences of the local urban public spaces in the eyes of the inhabitants who roamed the area. Stage two, envisioning local panel landscapes, is formulated by the combination of the showing of innovative design solutions for solar voltaic panels with the understanding of solar accessibility from an urban morphological level within the area. Stage three is the discussion and reflection stage that is facilitated by a backcasting exercise. These two images were taken from the pilot study and on the left was stage one, collaborative planning process and on the right is the generative design exercise. They were written in Swedish but have been interpreted for this presentation and within the conference paper. On the left, to understand the lived experiences of the inhabitants of the place, you can see that they have used markers to delineate routes that they commonly use and also areas that they commonly visit. And on the right, in the generative design exercise, you can see that roofs, facades, and perhaps not so visible, but open lawns are shaded to indicate areas of high access solar accessibilities and areas that can be suitable for future solar panel projects. Not envisioned or not shown within this slide is the images of innovative design solutions that have been used to stimulate creativity for the participants to see, to imagine and foresee what could be in terms of energy aesthetics within the landscape of their urban area. These annotations on the pink post-its have been used to annotate the ideas that they have come up with in terms of marrying principles of technical functionality and utilitarian use together with design and aesthetic principles from what they have seen in these uh, innovative solar panel designs. The findings from the workshop was based on a thematic analysis conducted on empirical data collected. The empirical data collected followed GDPR regulations and verbal consent was sought before it was used. 
In the three discussion areas that emerged from this workshop were motivation and participation, leveraging design interventions for energy democracy, and co-creating situated urban energy landscapes. For the first point, the authors were questioning the low turnout when it comes to the workshop and started to question the local urban planning process and the process for inclusion of citizen dialogue and input. Uh, we also started to problematize the proactiveness and uh, increase responsibility of the citizens to be engaged within these uh, democratic processes and how that what that means specifically for this uh, context. We also introduce uh, democratic design experiments as a possible way to open up the urban planning and energy planning process even further. And for leveraging design interventions uh, for energy democracy, we talked about material use, how that expedited honest uh, responses to questions and how it stimulated creativity and playfulness in imagining solar panel futures. For co-creating situated urban energy landscapes, uh, we took the perspective of aesthetics majorly, uh, talking about colour, form, textures and function and how uh, these inhabitants can visually imagine their uh, energy futures to look like from a design perspective. For future research, we intend to apply this uh, research to other small scale uh, renewable energy technologies in the urban environment, for example, windmills, and to test democratic design experiments as a form of participation that is situated within the larger ecology of urban public participation processes. Now we've reached the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to reach out to me pertaining to any questions and comments, and here are the references used within this presentation. Thank you and stay safe.